It was the Champions League final here at the Stade de France last May that led to so many concerns for Liverpool fans as they were caught up in crushes and they really feared for their safety. There were no serious injuries on the night, but UEFA commissioned an investigation into just what went wrong. We're yet to see this full report. We believe it has been concluded, but Sky News has uncovered some of the key findings from the review into that night, and it found that there were near misses that nearly led to a disaster. Now, there were several factors involved on the night that put Liverpool fans in danger. There were crowd control issues leading from the train station to the Stade de France, and a lot of the blame on that is pinned on the French authorities, the French Football Federation, who were part of the organisation, and the French police as well. There's a lack of Plan B that was discovered. There were no contingency plans to ensure that security stewards could be redeployed around the stadium to deal with crowd management issues to prevent bottlenecks that created dangerous situations where fans were being funneled into very narrow areas and there was a lack of uh, significant crowd management issues. This, of course, was a Champions League final selection of a host that was changed very late on. It was in February last year that Paris was chosen when St. Petersburg was stripped of the hosting due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And one of the issues found was the fact there was no risk assessment for the venue, as we understand it. And instead, they used a model from the French Cup final, a very different match involving, of course, domestic teams rather than, in this case, Liverpool fans and Real Madrid fans flying in to the match. And amongst the most significant issues evolved around the stadium perimeter, right at the turnstiles where... As Liverpool fans were trying to get in, we had local youths attempting to climb over the fences. They had no tickets, and police deployed tear gas and pepper spray, which created dangerous situations, and fans at times had the gates closed, which meant they were being pressed up against the fences. Now, what the report, I believe, will find is that police were wrong to proactively use tear gas and pepper spray in this way, and the fact it should not be deployed as a means of crowd management at football matches We'd seen it here in the past, particularly at Euro 2016. And on the night, there were concerns of Liverpool fans that they were blamed for being late at the stadium. And that was the reason why, in fact, the game was delayed for 37 minutes. What I believe this review finds clearly is that these issues were developing three hours before kickoff, well in advance of the Champions League final beginning. Another thing focused on on the night, the French government tried to blame Liverpool fans for trying to access the stadium without tickets. Fake tickets were also alleged. What this report, I believe, will find is the fact that there was no mass dealing with fake tickets or attempts to get in without any tickets at all, and certainly finds that Liverpool fans were not responsible. In fact, it discovers that there are issues actually with the turnstile systems registering potentially valid tickets, and they might well have appeared to be invalid or fake tickets. So it was a catalogue of failings, it's believed, from the French government, the French police, the French local football authorities, and indeed UEFA. The report is believed to find UEFA bears primary responsibility, but that's apparently disputed by some members of the panel. And in fact, also, there are clear issues discovered with the French authorities and this stadium. We've had no response from the French Sports Ministry, the French Football Federation, UEFA also not commenting, but this report is apparently due to be published. And, of course, the attempt is to try to ensure that there are no issues at future Champions League finals, then based much seeing this as a near miss, what could have been a disaster, one averted, but certainly concerns about just how Champions League games are policed. Rob, just just quickly, because I mean, it sounds like the most important part of this is uh, is the conclusion as what was at fault uh, that nearly led to disaster, so that changes can be made going forward to make sure uh, nothing close to a disaster is ever, ever revisited. That said, that second part that you also mentioned, uh, the way in which French authorities blamed Liverpool fans in the immediate aftermath, is there expected to be in this report any conclusions as to? What level of apology is owed to those fans and by who specifically? How high up that goes uh, within French uh, authorities or UEFA? 
Well, there was an apology from UEFA last year after some of those initial statements were found to be wrong. And indeed, there is some criticism actually of U some of UEFA's operations and events division within this report about potentially trying to deflect blame. There's also a sense of local authorities as well trying to deflect that responsibility. But in terms of the actual blaming of Liverpool fans on the night. That was something that was spread out by the French government, by a minister actually on social media. And certainly that's something that has been focused on in this report where in fact they, Liverpool fans were found not to have been the ones that followed. It showed the attempt to try to quickly assign blame, perhaps to focus less on the role of locals and locals who were trying to clamour over the fences. I was here on the night and witnessed them and Liverpool fans were actually shouting at them, get down, get down, trying to prevent them causing issues getting into this game. And that was one of the key things on the night, actually, just how calm Liverpool fans were in a distressing situation as well as a pressurised situation. They were trying to get into one of the, the biggest games uh, of the season for them. One, of course, that they did lose and there was a significant patience actually from Liverpool fans as they were being denied entry to the stadium as tear gas and pepper spray was being deployed and asthmatic fans were suffering, disabled fans were suffering and it's really shone a light here on French policing and certainly that will be of interest particularly with the Rugby World Cup here late in the year, the Men's Rugby Union World Cup, and the Olympics here in Paris in 2024 as well. Uh, Rob Harris, great stuff. Thanks uh, so much for bringing us uh, that Sky News exclusive.